nothing will block the supernatural movement of God in your life like your logic, your education, or your opinion. Well, let me add one more, or your Google. Some of us, some of you listening, you have educated yourself out of the supernatural, where we are just too smart for God, too intelligent for heaven, too brilliant for the kingdom of God. And so we live with our logic and our Google searches and our Facebook opinions and our Instagram posts and truth and what you heard from other people. So we live only in the natural and we miss the supernatural. Jesus says, didn't I say to you, what did he say to her? Didn't I say to you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Didn't I say to you, if you believe, you will see. What will you see? The glory of God. What is the glory of God? The glory of God, if you believe, is God on display. The glory of God is God revealing Himself as God in your circumstance. You want that. The glory of God is when God is advertising Himself, when God puts Himself and His attributes on a billboard so you can see God is at work, but you will not see it in the physical until you believe it in the spiritual. You and I, we are blocking our miracles when human logic, even if it's correct, trumps what God says. When we do that, we do exactly what happened in Matthew 13. Matthew 13, it says he did not do any miracles there because of their unbelief. So you will be limited. I will be limited. We collectively will be limited to the natural when we do not move the stone. That is when we do not act on what God has said, whether we understand it, whether we can figure it out, whether we like it or not. And that is what often happens with Christians, limiting us to the natural because we can't figure out how God is going to do this. We can't figure out where this is going to come from. How am I going to pay for that? How am I going to get there? This is impossible. How am I going to get pregnant? I don't know how all of this works. It goes on and says, didn't I say to you that you would see with your own eyes the glory of God, but you won't see the supernatural until you believe and you believe you prove your belief by doing what I told you to do God is saying listen I'll wait I'll wait until you decide to believe I'll wait until you to decide that that you're not just going to throw facts my way like I don't know what I'm talking about I created the world And you're going to describe biology to me, like how things work. God says, I'll wait. 